At Early Head Start is a federal program for low-income infants and toddlers, and it is the younger sibling of the more famous Preschool Head Start program. And the legislation that um, began the program had some interesting elements to it. So one thing that, of course, was of interest to us, the researchers, was that it mandated a rigorous evaluation. So we had this impact study of what the program does for the children and families, but then Mathematica, and it was really Ellen Kisker who um, designed this uh, brilliant look at how the programs got up and running over the first three years. And that ended up being a really important part of the study. You had the federal program people, you had the federal research team, you had Mathematica's team led by John Love, and then you had all of these local teams that were the researchers and the program people at the program level. And John, John set the tone for the consortium, the tone of collegiality and collaboration. But when we talk about the impacts of Early Head Start, I think, to me, the most important findings from the whole study were that the impacts of the programs varied by implementation. And we found that when programs fully implemented these standards, they had broader and larger impacts for children and families at the end of the program. And to my knowledge, this is the only study to date that has validated the Head Start program performance standards. So that, to me, is one of the key findings. The Early Head Start Research Evaluation Project, really, it was the first. Um, and it was trying to do a little bit of everything. It had the impact. It had the implementation. Um, but it also set the stage for later rounds of research. Um, I would say, early on, it told us where innovation was needed. So, for instance, we found that we were not having the impact on family mental health that we wanted. But beyond that, we also saw that there was a need to continue to study this growing program, right? The research evaluation project started, there were 40 programs around the country. Um, by the time the project ended, by the time the kids were age three, there were more like 500 programs. It has continued to grow. This data set is so rich. I, there are hundreds of articles that emerge from this data set, and it really has contributed to what we know about the development of low-income children in this country. It's just incredible.